Welcome to the Patriotic Gnome Workshop. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that your hot glue is plugged in and getting warmed up. Um, grab some extra glue sticks. Um, so grab your beard material. For you guys, it's gonna be in one long strand in your workshop. Um, I did this for a couple reasons because there's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, so you'll just have to cut it yourself. But I thought this way you can kind of decide how you wanna do it. Um, what I'm deciding to do is I cut these little pieces, I measured and cut them all, and I'm going to loop them like this and then glue them at the top. And I'm gonna do them every other color. Um, I just like the way that it looked. Like I said, there's no right or wrong answer on how you do this. Um, I would just encourage you to kind of play around with it before you start gluing, because um, I did it one way and honestly, I felt like it looked like tentacles. And so I decided not to do that. Um, so I'm just going to go every other, all the way around, just making sure that I am covering the base so that the loop is coming down further enough that I'm covering the, the base of the styrofoam because I don't want the white showing through. Also remember that hot glue is hot, guys. So if you've got a pair of scissors, um, that always works nicely to squish things into hot glue for you so you don't have to stick your finger in it. So I am gonna go ahead and do this all the way around um, my little gnome here to create his beard. And then I'm gonna probably go back if there's any like um, white spaces that you can see and just use the extra cause I did not use all of it um, and use the extra to kind of fill in those areas is my plan. Like I said, you guys can do whatever you want um, with yours. You could keep it all in one and just weave it back and forth. You could braid it together however you want to go ahead and do this part. So go ahead and get your beard attached. Okay, so I have my beard on and I went a little nuts here, guys. Um, so I actually took the extra that I had that I hadn't cut and I wrapped it around the top. Now the reason I did this, and like I said, this isn't required, this is just something that I did, it's an idea. Um, it's because it's gonna give my hat a little bit of fluff. It also is gonna let me, um, I cut mine a little too, short I probably should have done higher um but it's gonna let me put my hat up a little higher because remember we have arms for this little guy so I want um I want his arms to be able to um come out a little bit so that's what I did it also gives my hat some fluff so once you kind of got that figured out you've got everything situated with your beard that you like then you can go ahead and you can wrap your hat around the top and you can go ahead and glue that on. Ran out of glue here. There we go. I could potentially be an over hot gluer, but it's just who I am guys. It's just who I am. Don't touch the hot glue like me either. So I'm going to start down there. It should wrap around pretty well for you. Um, I gave you guys a little bit extra than even what you need for the hat. It's way bigger than it needs to be. Um, but I just want to give you guys that ability to be creative and go off the beaten path a little bit with your gnome hat. All right. I'm going to do some more tuck in here. Sorry guys, it's a little harder for me to show you um, how this works because when he stands up, you guys can't see him. And the things with the gnomes, guys, there's no like right or wrong way to do these. Um, a lot of the times it's just going to be how yours comes together, you'll glue part of the hat, you won't love it, so then you'll go back and you'll tighten a specific spot or bend his little hat. <laughs> um, and you just keep working on it until um, 
you find a, a you find a way that you like it. So as I'm putting the hat on, I'm also just gonna kind of dry fit my hands here to see um, where I'm gonna want that. I may have actually even make this a little tighter. All right. So once you get that hat on, I mean, you can kind of play with it if you want to tuck it under so that the exposed edges aren't showing. You can go ahead and do that. I might go back and glue these guys on. I don't know. They should kind of stay put. All right. So kind of figure out where my front's going to be because that's pretty important for your nose. Which is the next thing you'll want to do. Figure out where your nose is going to set and then get that on there. You'll have to kind of hold that bugger on for a little bit. And then these are going to be your arms. So what I do is I normally tuck them kind of up under your hat like that. And then have them come around to the front. Just remember one of your arms is going to be holding your star. So you want to make sure that you don't glue that one down without getting the star under his hand. One hand on. Then you can kind of decide, whoop, stick your hand in your hand or your arm and pull it off like I did there. Then you can decide which side you want your little star on. I'm going to put it over here. I'm not a glue again. And then if you want to put something in his other arm, feel free to be creative if you've got something else you want to stick in his hand. Or, and if you don't, you can just glue it to the front. Like that. And then you can kind of figure out what you want to do with your hat if you just want to leave it sticking straight up or you can, you know, do something funky with it to get it to bend over. If you've got any of these left over, you could um, get funky with those. Um, completely up to you what you want to do with your hat. Um, but there you go, guys. There is your know me. Feel free when you're done to kind of look around at it if there's any spots or anything that just aren't sticking right or you want more glue on. Um, that's always how I finish up is just make sure everything looks good. Um, and then make sure that you post a picture of your finished patriotic gnome so that we can all see him and see your creativity. I want to see how everyone does their beards just because this is kind of a, 
a new different material that we're using on these. So it'd be fun to kind of see what everybody does.